I was very impressed that we were playing at the whiskey and there were these kids lining up early to buy tickets. And there was one kid sitting there named Joey and Roger was talking to him. And he gave Roger some lyrics on a piece of paper evidently. I think this is the story. And we wound up recording the song. And I, I think Roger was trying to cut a song in a, in a mode, in a style that none of us had ever done, that, well, the birds have never done before. It's an obvious rock groove. It's almost purple haze. You know, but of course, you know, no one's playing it that way. Maybe the bass line, but it's got bluegrass running through it, you know, and then choir boy harmonies running through it. But yeah, I thought it was really an adventurous thing for, for Roger to want to do that kind of a tune. It's kind of like you record an album and then after it's done, you don't think about it much. You don't listen to it anymore because you've listened to it too much. You know, we were all so busy at the time. Uh, I can really appreciate it now. You know, but for many years, I didn't listen to any of that music. It's just too much uh, emotional investment, you know. I think your first point is really valid. Um, as to Americans embracing country music, not really. Because a certain segment of America is comfortable with country music, but in like sort of in the middle, uh, but like East Coast people or California people. Until California country rock existed, I mean, it's a Bakersfield sound. and Yeah, I think that there was a backlash. I think you're absolutely right. There was a backlash from Sweetheart of the Rodeo, so that people were not even interested in hearing the next Birds record. Um, there's also a possibility that a decision was made, you know, at Columbia. You know, like, oh, these guys are, they've lost it, they, they're washed up, or, or they picked the wrong single. I don't know. Sometimes if a record doesn't sell, it's because the amount of uh, money invested in it by the record company is not enough to get it where it needs to be pushed. You know, so we don't, we don't really know why those things happen. You think it's, oh, well, the public is in charge. But it's a combination of the tastes of the public, but it also has to do with what's pushing the music. There's a big machine pushing the music. So the public gets the message, oh, this is a great new Birds record.